guys welcome to another episode today is I want to say the 22nd 23rd I'm on my little four day Christmas vacation there was really nowhere to go even this is muddy compared to what it usually is it's gonna to be tough but I do have that advantage of the south winds again like me and her had when we caught 30 or 40 crappie here I'm already seeing a lot of fish activity just staying in here she's gonna meet up with me later she's getting her hair done right now and she's just gonna call me when she gets down to the water so let's see what happens this time I brought my bass stuff too I'm gonna to be using crappie jigs minnows crankbaits and spinnerbaits let's see what happens I think I want to start off with minnows just to get on the board and see how well they're biting. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right, we're on the board. They're a little slow. It looks like lure fishing ain't going to be that great. Got a six inch black crappie. It's a start. I'm using a half red, half white, two inch curly tail with a chartreuse tail, and a one eighth, half yellow, half orange, eagle claw jig head. All right, hey. Maybe as the day warms up, though, the bite will get better and better as the water warms up, is what I'm hoping. It is pretty early right now, it's only 11. To a straight minnow, I'm gonna use my 11 foot <coughs> B&M jigging rod and it's paired with an akuma uh it says akuma ultralight it's got a name i just don't know the name akuma something 1000 series reel so i'm gonna start off about 30 inches above the bobber and using this method, I can pretty much just reach over and set down the minnow without causing a splash or having to cast. It makes it easier on my part and it spooks the fish way less. very very tight to the brush very tight to the brush all right we have another seven inch black second fish of the day looks like an identical twin to the first one I caught they're really close to the brush. Got him. Oh, nicer, a lot nicer. Got a white this time too. There we go. Not a bad one. Bad little white. Yeah, I'll take him. He at least hit eight or nine. Oh yeah. He's eight. Nice little white. It's a big one. Oh my. If this is a crappie, it's a big one. Oh yes it is. Oh my god, I did not expect this guys. What a slap. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful crappie. Oh 
Oh my goodness. And it's one of them hybrids. I do believe. Yes, it is. Oh man. Whew. Hard work and dedication has paid off. Hooked him through the top lip pointing down. Now that's different. And it went through two spots. I'm going to have to have pliers. Nice hybrid, man. As soon as I set the hook, that was a different fish right there. It's not one of them babies. No, he's a pure black. That's a nice one. He's 10. What a beauty. Man. Heck yeah. Guys, I'm going for the giant. I got a three inch minnow in my hands. Did two times. God, the little guy just keeps getting away. If I get a bite on this, it's gonna be something very serious, hopefully. It's a big old minnow. Oh great, crash into the branches, just what I needed. Well, I tell you, if I didn't have any bad, bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh it's a bass, holy moly, with an 11 foot pole, this is strange guys, it's a nice bass too, my goodness, very unexpected out of this brush pile, oh do not get my anchor buddy, boy I risk him breaking my line, that's a three pounder, oh my, my oh my, <laughs> this is very strange fighting a bass with an 11 foot pole, very strange. No, oh, he's just a two pounder. It's nice though. That's what using big minnows gets you guys. Oh, and he's about to come off. He's gonna come off. He's gonna come off. Oh my God. There's no way I can grab him except by the lip. Oh. Oh my God. Come here, man. Got it. What a beauty. Well, my rod just went completely in the water, but I guess that's okay. It was worth it. Oh, man. I just pulled that out like nothing. How he stayed on is only a miracle, guys. Ah, my goodness. Well, there's hope for bass biting today. I'm going to have to go around this entire lake with a crankbait and spinnerbait. Heck yeah. Not a bad little bass. I love their colors in the winter time. Way more colorful. There's no spotted bass. Nice. These are all pure large now. Nice. Well, he changed his mind, I guess. Nope, there he is. Got him. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Nice black. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Not bad. I guess I didn't completely spook him. Catching that bass and slamming into the log. And he's got snail larva on him. Nice little black. About seven inch.
Got him. Oh, nice one. Nicer. There we go. <laughs> Got a niner. Black niner. All right. Yep. Calm down, buddy. Well, open your dang mouth, boy. A little better. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my, finally a white, yes, and that's a nice one, whoa, yes, that's what I've been wanting, one of them whites, big old thick, man this thing is an inch thick, it's only about 11 inches, but my god that's a thick fish, what a backbone on that thing, what a beauty. Oh my, now that's what I came for, right there's what I came for, yes what a beautiful white crappie, he's got the greens, got that black dot on his gill plate, got some yellow in him, boy, there we go, it's not a total horrible day, I'm not doing bad. Oh my, my, another nice white, even nicer. Oh man, he's 11. Oh, he's got me hung right on that branch. Get off of there, buddy. There you go. Oh, yes. He was on that backside. He's 12. 11 or 12. He's 12. Man, that's a nice one. Another nice white, finally. Yeah, I've had a good day. I've officially had a good day. I'm happy with these fish. Heck yeah. Nice white crop. Heck yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh, I got something nice. It's I think it's a big crappie. Oh my, oh my. Please be a big slab. What is this? No, it's a bass. I finally got a bass on the crankbait, guys, on that... Uh, Bomber fat free shad. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. He's not a giant, but it is a large mouth. It worked. Not terrible. Not a bad fish. Not a pound. Heck yeah. I'll have to run through here again. That's the best part of the lake for bass. Wind's blowing me so fast, but I don't want to anchor either. So, just got to run through it again. Finally paid off. All right, hey, ain't gonna complain. Well, guys, that ends this episode. I didn't do very good today. Thought I'd do way better than this. The wind quit at two o'clock and then the fish just died. It was good until that wind stopped. 
Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.